Hello everyone, the Stunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the last video for the Joe Fixit wave. So we have all the figures and stuff like that. So let's go over how to make them. So first we'll start with the torso. This one came with Joe Costa. So yeah. Um, and then we'll go with Captain America's um, piece here, which is Joe Fixit's left arm. So you just pop that one in. And then you get Thunderstrike's piece, which is Joe Fix-It's head. Uh, just pop that in, come on. This one's a little bit difficult. There we go, pops right in. And then we'll go with um, Falcon's piece, which is Joe Fix-It's left leg. There we go, just pops like that. And then uh, Kang's piece, Joe Fix-It's right leg. There we go, just pops in like that. And then the last piece, which is Joe Fix-It's right arm, which was with Iron Man. And then boom, there you go. You have Joe Fix-It here. Uh, let me raise, lower my camera there or phone. So uh, yeah, here he is right here. So you get that nice little cap there with that little red, those two red feathers and then a black little strap there bow. And then you get the Hulk face there. Nice gray skin. Kind of gives me, it, it kind of looks like a little bit of a green tint, but it's not, it's not that bad. I like it a lot. Um, and you get him in this nice suit there. You get the little white um, sleeve there from his like long sleeve white shirt there. You get the red tie with some details in there. And this is a separate piece, so if you want to, you can just like maneuver it if you want. So that's cool. And you even get the little buttons there for the white shirt. So that's cool. And this is like uh, all one piece. It's kind of glued together, so you can't really take it off or anything like that. Uh, so yeah. And then you get the pockets there. You get more buttons. There's one unbuttoned there. And you get, yeah, like I already said, pockets. You get the little handkerchief in that pocket. Um, and yeah, you get the little, uh, dress pants there, a little stitching around uh, along the sides there. So that's cool. Even in the inner part of the leg there, and you get these nice looking shoes. There you go. Job on those. You get the laces there, the white little detail there. Very expensive looking shoes, I think. And you get more stitching in the back there. It looks a lot like what a suit would look like actually. So they did a good job. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is a little bit um, is that this one's more matted. This one's like glossy, so I wish they kind of gave it a little bit of a more matted paint for it, but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. I didn't realize that until just now, honestly. So yeah, um, but let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down that much up just a little bit. You can look left and right. You get some ha head pivoting actually, so that's good. His shoulders can move out just that far. You get 360 rotation around there. You have single jointed elbows, so just pretty close to 90 degrees, and then you get to rotate them somewhat. It's kind of tough, so you can't really rotate it that much. But yeah. Um, and then his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. Ab crunch, I think he has like a little bit of one, but you can only get him to go for that much. Backwards just a little bit, not a whole bunch. The suit's kind of like restricting restricting it, but I mean, since he has a suit, he's gonna be standing straight up anyway, so. His legs can move out just that far. He can kick just a little bit forward. Backwards, a decent amount is okay. He has a thigh cut. He has single jointed knees there, so you, you don't get to 90 degrees there, but it's okay. And you get 360 rotation around there, but. Like I said, you probably shouldn't be doing that anyways. It's not going to look good. Um, but his ankles can hinge down just a little bit. The trousers kind of get in the way there. Up, same deal. Not a whole bunch. But you get a little bit of ankle pivot there. And here's Joe Fixit next to the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk. Uh, the Outback Hulk. And the Avengers Endgame Build-A-Figure uh, Hulk. Uh, and standing at a reasonable height with them. Uh, a little bit shorter, but... Like I said, I think it's pretty accurate, so yeah. So I think this guy is a pretty cool figure. Um, he has some 
uh, articulation problems, but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch, especially since he's in the suit. I mean, most people can't even move, the, move well in the suit anyways, so. Um, yeah, it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch. I like it, I like it a lot, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you get, you could probably get him in some cool poses, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, um, I like the look of it. Good job on detailing and stuff like that. But besides that, that's all I've got.